Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today, guys, is the day we see if it's good enough um, for paint, basically. Um, I've had a quick look and it looks, it looks really, really good. 10 times better than what it did um, the day before. So I'm really happy and I'm really pleased that, you know, I kept... Kept, go, kept going backwards, kept going thinking, it's not quite right, I need to do this, I need to do that. And I just kept on it, it kept, kept working at it, kept, kept looking at it, just kept checking it. And you guys were just, just, just last night was giving me some like really big, um, <clears throat> you know, advice, information, the stuff that you was telling me to use, um, the, you know, the dolphin glaze. A lot of people were saying use dolphin glaze when you're doing it. Guide coat um, so that when you're rubbing back, you can, you can see the highs and lows with the guide, guide coat going up and down and stuff like that. So the information is, is fantastic. Um, I am a novice. I am self-taught. Um, and I'm just sort of, you know, getting through it and, and seeing how I go. Like, you know, I'm, I'm just getting into that sort of this side of, this side of it, the painting and the body work. I'm just, just starting off. So I'm sure that there, there's people out there, there's painters and body shop workers and all, all the rest of them that watch me and subscribe to my channel that have been doing it for 20 years like and but when they first started you know was they like this you know everyone's got to start somewhere so um as long as you're moving forward and getting better you know i think um improve you know improvement is always the best way so uh and you know i'm learning as i go so but I just want to say a massive, massive thank you guys for all the support, all the comments, and everyone just pointing me in the right direction, telling me what to use. But, you know, I've got so much information from everyone. It's, it's incredible, um, you know, and I really do appreciate it. But where do I go with it? Where, who, do I, who do I follow? Like, who, which one do I sort of, do you know what I mean? It's really difficult for me to pick one person or one, one of you guys to to you know because that person does it their way and that's what it is with painting i think i think it's it's not there's, there is specific ways on certain things but most of it is your own way your own le you're learning your own way of doing it um so yeah i think we're getting there um let me <laughs> take you over to the car we'll see what it's like see what you think I'm gonna, you know, sand it, sand it down, all that primer, get it all flat, get it all blocked down um, with some sandpaper, and hopefully today we can actually get it painted. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Right, guys. So there we go. Yeah, you know, I think it does need a little bit more rubbing down. There's gonna be sort of some small high and low points. Um, it's not perfect. I'm, I'm. As I said, hopefully, you know, can get better at this. It's, you know, a lot better than what it is. Hopefully, it's going to be passable, you know, once we do uh, base coat and lacquer. But obviously, um, it's just, yeah, especially that line there. That line looks really, really good now. Uh, the body arch lines as well look really good where they should be. This one's kept it the same. That's well, it's not, it's not supposed to be flat, to be honest with you, in the middle. Uh, it has got a, a curve. Um, I've checked the other side, and it has got a slight curve in it. So, the, if, do you know what? If it was like a door, like a flat, a flat door, um, you know, you, you would see it a lot more. But because it's supposed to have sort of, it's supposed to, not, not in and out, ripply, sort of really bad, but it's supposed to, you know, not be completely flat. Um, I've checked the other side. So, it's really difficult to try and get it, um, absolutely spot on but it is a lot better than what it was um and i think by the time i've sanded it down um we're gonna be good to go i have looked on loads of videos online and everyone's doing it a different way when it comes to this primer um sanding it and blocking it down and and, and then flattening it off this primer um i'm gonna use um first of all we're gonna use a uh 320 grit sandpaper Gonna go all over um, the the primer, get it back, and then probably start moving up to like um, uh, six hundred. Then I, I might even go to uh, I'll leave it at six hundred, eight hundred, something like that. Um, probably leave it eight hundred. Won't go any further than that. 
and then we're going to go over um, a little. We're going to go up a little bit more. So, yeah. So I had sort of people messaged me last night saying, "Don't, don't, don't paint it here. Don't stop it there. Go up a little bit further. So go up here a little bit further and come up to about here. So we'll probably, I'll, I'll probably go up here and end it up here somewhere, which is the, like a thinner uh, point here. The, the apparently the the thinner area, the smaller area, to to fade it out, the better. So yeah, I'll probably sort of cut it back about here, um, and then sort of, or maybe maybe end the paint about here, and then end the lacquer up here a little bit, and just fade it in. That's what I'm gonna <laughs> try and do. So I've got to tape it off now. I've got to cut that around there. Um, I'll probably bring it bring it right over to the tailgate as well. So I'm going to cut it around here, take it right back to the tailgate, up to there, come around here, and then go down there. So, yeah, you know, it's just little tips like that. You guys were messaging me and, and, and letting me know, you know, sort of doing that. It's, 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 it's fantastic. It's great. I really appreciate everyone trying to sort of, you know, help me out, push me along. Um, so, yeah, we'll end, it, we'll end it to this bumper line here going up and going through. But yeah, that's the uh, plan for today. Hopefully, it goes really well and we can get this, um, you know, in a good in a good state, really. So, let me set you up. Let's get cracking. Well, let's get this rubbed down first with three twenty, um, and then we'll just keep going and getting it ready. So, let's do this. Right, guys, so as you can see, I'm just keep going over, um, getting the preparation right. And yeah, I've taken the bottom a little bit further over there. Um, I've back taped here, it keeps coming down a little bit here. So I've got to put something behind to stop it from sort of being hit. But yeah, I've back taped the arch and then front taped it so that it tapes to the plastic. But like I said, it keeps dropping down a little bit. So I'm going to put some, um, yeah, I'll probably just put some bubble um, wrap or something underneath there just to pack it out, just to stop it from coming down. So that's that. And you can see that there. Um, I'm not going to take it that far, but it's the little bit of overspray that you might get um, over that side. So, yeah, I'm only going to take it to like there, but um, it's that further on. Um, <clears throat> taking it around here, around the bumper, kept it around there, 
I'll take it right back to the um, tailgate there, taped it right up there and around the top and around the glass here, right round, it's all been taped up. So that's where it is. And you can see I've taken it right across the door pillar up the, um, the quarter um, and right across to the door pillar and I've taped it here. Now, I'm not going to be taking it that far. If I show you that. I'm not taking it that far. I'm only going to be taking um, the paint probably to about here. Um, <clears throat> somewhere like that. Actually, I might take it there. So if I take the paint to here, and then um, the uh, lacquer will come to about here, and then there'll be some sort of... Right, so right about here is when my lacquer is going to finish. Um, <clears throat> and then so if there's any overspray it will then go on there and there won't be a hard line. I'm gonna dub, I'm gonna roll a bit of tape just on this edge just to see if it's gonna help. I don't know, it's a trial and error. Um, I wanna try things out. So I'm gonna roll it, roll the tape back so that it sticks so there's not that hard edge like we've got here. So yeah, that's, um, you know, there's loads of different ways of doing it. I'm sure there's gonna be people out there saying, do it this way, do it that way, do this, do that, that's fine. Um, and like I said, I'm just trying to sort of um, find the best way for me. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put a, I'm going to, I'm going to tape it across here like this, right across, and then cut it here and here, and then I know where to stop the paint, so where to to bring the bring the the gun to there, yeah. And then when to get to here, I'm going to tape it here as well, cut it here and here, so then I know where to stop my gun for the lacquer. And then I went, I went to the paint shop and got myself, just now, it is an Ultra Blend. This is for lacquer. And it blends the lacquer um, from new to old. So this is obviously old lacquer that I've just sanded down. And uh, that's ready for paint. I'm going to have to get some uh, panel wipes and, and wipe all it off afterwards. So I've been touching the panel to see what's smooth and what ain't. But this blend basically blends the new lacquer... To the old lacquer so when you put the if, I, if i'm going to bring the lacquer to here i'll spray the lacquer bring it over to here fade it in a little bit and then use that afterwards with it backs and forwards a little bit like this and it sort of blends it in you can't use that too much because apparently it runs quite a bit so again <laughs> i've just got to try it i've never used it before but it's worth a go um definitely guys just to try and get that lacquer blend out onto the onto the top here we will see how this goes. Um, I'll probably use it again on the bottom here. When I bring the lacquer to there, then I'll just fade it out with that lacquer spray. And we'll see how this goes. I think I'm kind of ready, mate, to be honest with you, for base coat and then lacquer. You know, I've rubbed it all down. It's all prepped. And I've just got to go over it with a bit of panel wipe just to clean the actual surface because I keep touching it for some reason. Uh, yeah. And we've got to get that other lock ready as well. Do you know the lock for the door? I want to get that ready for paint as well. So I'll set all that up. Um, I'll come back to you. Let's give this let's give this a light dusting of the colour, first of all. And then we'll leave that for a little while. And I'll just keep coming back and forwards, guys, coming in and out, just telling you where we are, showing you what I'm doing. And then we'll just build it up, build it up, build it up until we get a nice coat. I'm just I'm just really concerned about runs at the minute. So I really want to I don't want to do it too thick and I want to take my time building the um the base coat up and then obviously building the lacquer up. Um probably going to do three probably going to do a light dusting of the base coat, then two more coats, one one medium coat and then one thick last coat. And again with the lacquer, probably do a dusting then a medium coat, then a thick last coat. Uh, all those procedures are going to take time in between for drying. We're going to fold up the gazebo. We're going to, going to bring it all back and uh, you know enclose it all properly. So I'll do that and I'll try and get the camera. <laughs> I'll try and get the camera in at a certain angle to see you, uh, so you can see what's going on. Probably like up here or something like that. If I can, um, let's see if I can set it up. But yeah, you've got to bear in mind that. I'm not only am I sort of trying doing this for the first time, I'm also trying to film it and show you guys what I'm doing stage step by step, which is, 
yeah, difficult sometimes. Uh, <laughs> but let's crack on, let's keep going, and hopefully get this done. So let's do this. So guys, there we go. That is the base coat done. I'm not going to go in there because um, it's really fuming me in a minute, and I can't. Um, yeah, I can't. I, I don't want to go in there unless I wear a mask, and I can't talk and wear a mask at the same time. So I'm not going to go in there. But you can, you can see. I've just, quickly, just I've been putting the camera at this corner here. But yeah, you can see it's looking really good. There is some slight things that I've been noticing. Um, so it's not. 100% perfect. Um, I'm not going to say that it's perfect because it, it's not. Uh, it's okay. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's all right. I'm, I'm learning. I'm getting there. Um, <laughs> it's the process. Um, <clears throat> you, no one could expect me to just jump into this and be um, an absolute master at it. Um, so it's just, it is what it is. It's um, it's a great little car to, to, to learn on. Um I'm going to be completely honest, whoever buys it, um, they're going to be seeing the videos and seeing all your comments that you're saying and what you're writing. So, yeah, it, as long as you're honest about it, then then, then there's no issue with it. it. It'd be different if I'm standing here saying it's an absolute perfect job and no one can say anything. I'm not. I, it, if I was saying that, it would be a completely different story, but I'm not. I'm just saying that we're getting by and we're getting it done. Um so yeah, I'm going to leave that for another 10, 15 minutes just to let that go off just a little bit more before we start hitting it with the clear. Um, I just wanted, I was doing about three or four coats and I just want to sort of, I didn't want to overdo it. I just want to build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. And I think it's at a point now where it's okay to leave and we can move to base coat, um, lacquer, sorry. But you can see the first coat, I just sort of done it a little bit on the, where the filler was, then build it up a bit more, and then just working my way up and up and up and up, um, and, and then down a little bit. So, yeah, it's it's getting there. I'm hoping that it's going to be okay. The trouble is with it is that really, and the gazebo needed to be bigger. So I had more space to work and look and see. Um, it's really tight against that corner, and that was, that was my worry 
about putting it at an angle was that it's getting that corner really tight. So, but most of the car is in at an angle. Do you know what I mean? It just throws up more issues. <laughs> anyway, I'm absolutely sweating. I'm not wearing this sort of like overalls to stop the paint and the lacquer going all over me, which kind of helps, kind of like a paint suit. And this is what I'll probably use to do my painting with. Um, so yeah, guys, we'll leave it for now. <clears throat> I'll come back to you. I'll set you up and then we'll crack on with the lacquer. Um, and then we've got to leave it about an hour after that. And then we'll tape, start t pulling the tape away, uh, tape off where I need to, around the edges and stuff. Not the whole lot, but just a few bits and pieces that I'm going to take away. So yeah, fingers crossed, guys. This is going to work out and we're going to be... Yeah, we're going to be good with this one. Um, like, okay. Not perfect, but it's going to be okay. So, yeah, let's crack on. Wait for 10 minutes, 15, and I'll come back to you, and we'll start the lacquer. Right, so there we go, guys. I've done all that I can do to this one. Hopefully, when we come back in the morning, uh, this is going to be all right, you know. <laughs> I really hope it is. But it's looking pretty good. I started to build up the uh, lacquer up at the stage. It started to sort of really thin and then sort of just, just built it up and built it up. I've done four coats in the end. I think it was three or four. Uh... I didn't want to do it too thick, you know what I mean? Because I didn't want the runs to happen. I didn't want to have problems later on. I've already noticed a few bits and pieces that's gone in it, uh, bits of dust, and maybe a couple of other bits I don't know, but we will look at that tomorrow. And I think it's because I'm just too close to that corner. So when I'm opening and shutting and opening and closing this bloody door, I should have had a door here, really, um, and not over there, but it's just, it's just too bloody small this gazebo really to 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 for the car it needs to be bigger need space need around it do you know what i mean so i might look at one of those ones you know those gazebos that you're, i said it before where you just pull it and it just sort of opens up you can get sort of uh, this is a three meters by three meters you can get like four and a half four meters by four meters or four and a half by four and a half five and a half by five and a half something like that so a little bit bigger if you know what i'm saying um to give me some more space around the vehicles that i'm doing you know, <laughs> so, but yeah, do you know what? It don't look that bad to be honest with you. Are you did you see me use the cans? I used to blend this blending can stuff uh, at the edges, the top edge and the bottom edge of the, of the lacquer. So we'll see what that comes out like as well, because I did get a few comments about that. Uh, someone commented and say, look, get, go down to the paint shop, get yourself one of these blending cans in an aerosol. Um, and that should, um, do the lacquer blends at the end so fingers crossed um, again it is just you know we're learning we're trying I'm self-taught no one's taught me um, I don't get me wrong I've been sort of guided a few times in the right directions especially by you guys I get a lot of comments a lot of people saying do it do this do that do this do that but at the end of the day it's my choice it's me doing it so you guys can only say you can you know you can only guide me at some point, but uh, you know it's eventually it's me that's got to do the work. So I'm hoping that we are definitely making an improvement because if I'm not happy, you know it's going to the paint shop. 
don't care what the cost is. We've got enough money in the car. It's going to the paint shop. If I can't, if I'm not happy with it and I can't get it, you know, flat back or whatever, I think the reason why I couldn't sort of do, I couldn't flat it back properly on the Fiat 500 on the bonnet and on the wing was because there wasn't enough lacquer. This time, even though I've done a, a few coats of lacquer on this, I've done it in stages and, and made it quite thin and then sort of built it up. So I'm hoping that that's good enough to get a good flat and a polish once it's all dried. So there we go. Um, all we can do is um, have a sleepless nights and see if it's all right in the morning. <laughs> I'm joking. As if I'm going to have sleep the nights over this. Um, but <laughs> honestly, guys, we'll come tomorrow and we'll have a look and we'll see what it's like. Uh, yeah. So that is going to be the end of today's video. And hopefully the end of this painting on this Ford KA. But we will find out tomorrow. Stay tuned, guys, for the next episode on this Rex the Riches. And we'll see if this is going to the paint shop or we can save it. So, have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.